What's up everybody? It's Pete. But today it's not about Pete's green ma green machine. It's about Pete's lasagna. So I have everything that's going into lasagna here and uh, I wave to everybody. Hopefully I got a good angle. You guys don't see the, need to see my mug. Uh, you've seen it all before. So we got the pasta. You can see it's still steaming here. I just uh, drained it. I put a little bit of uh, olive oil on there to keep it uh, uh, not sticky. I got a little cold water here with ice to dip my hands in because I'm gonna be touching the hot pasta. Um, I made a fresh sauce which is, which is still warm. Uh, you can use your favorite sauce or if you wanna uh, use a, your favorite jar sauce to save time, that's up to you. Um, I fried up a, a little bit of uh, sweet sausage. I got some ground beef here, which I seasoned. You can season it uh, however you want. Uh, I got some chopped mozzarella here in little cubes. I got a little bit of my favorite Parmesan. And I got some ricotta that I uh, seasoned with a little salt, pepper, oregano, and parsley. And uh, if you guys, I just use regular old Ronzoni okay i do boil it there is a, a lasagna that you guys can uh, use without having to boil i normally don't boil it the whole way i normally go half or three quarters of the way because it'll um, be easier to work with and it's going to finish off in the oven anyway and get soft and tender so let's begin uh first we want to put our sauce on the bottom here Start the base. I'll just spread that around. You'll see that I do have a little bit of meat and sausage that I put in the sauce uh, just to flavor it up while it was cooking. Let me uh, dip my hands in here. Okay, I'm gonna start layering this. Now you can use whatever pan you guys want. I'm just using the aluminum throwaway pan here. Uh, if you guys have a, a, you know, a, a baking tray or baking pan that you guys like to use, and go right ahead and use it. Normally try to lay it, you know, overlay it a little bit. This is very hot, I'm burning my hands. That's why I have the ice. And that's why some people use the uh, the uh, lasagna noodles that you don't have to cook. Uh, I have had them before, they taste fine. Okay, so now let's put a little bit more sauce. All right. And uh, then we'll start building our delicious lasagna. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy with the sauce, just, just enough to, to cover it. First we're going to do a little Parmesan cheese, not too crazy, okay, we'll do a little of the sweet sausage. ground beef which I usually put a little bit more sausage you know not everybody is uh, a sausage lover we are here so you guys don't have to put that in yours but you know finding a little a little sausage uh, nugget is good I'm gonna do a little bit of the mozzarella And if you guys want to know which kind of mozzarella I use, I just use regular old Palio mozzarella cheese, like some of you guys out there like to say. And then we'll do a little scoop there, a little scoop there, a little scoop there. I don't worry about spreading it out too much because once it all melts, it's gonna 
it's going to spread out through, throughout there once you finish baking it. So I don't really go too crazy with the... Uh, and now that I'm saying that, like I'm getting a little crazy. But you guys get the drift. Okay, now our next la layer. I will do it sideways. And what I'll do is I'll press that down. And uh, let's separate this here. Mm -hmm. That's why I use the olive oil. Put this one up here a little bit. And as I go along, I like to press everything down. And that's what also spreads out the, uh, the ricotta. I do have a knife and scissors in case I wanted to like, if I wanted to cut it perfectly like that, but I just go, I just go up the sides there. Cause you're not gonna get too many layers in here. So to have a little extra pasta is fine. But when you guys make yours, you can layer it however you like. Okay, hot, hot, hot. Uh, get a little ice water if you hear my kids in the background they are playing I think roadblocks a very popular kids game I guess All right okay so we press that down and now let's go with our next layer here do a little sauce So why did Pete's Green Machine want to record him making lasagna? Well, I do like to cook. I mean, I'd much rather have somebody else cook for me, but I do like to cook certain things, especially Italian food, um, since I am Italian and that's how I was raised. And... Uh, I said, you know, it's not very often that I do a lasagna. So I said, you know, why not put it up and film it and put it on YouTube. So you guys can all get a kick out of it. Okay, what are we doing next? Let's do a little sausage. All right. And you can use any sausage. This is, I think, from... Premier or Premierio, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, that I use ground beef is just a 80-20 blend of uh, chopped meat. Right. Okay. I like to get a good layer of beef in there. Now we're going to do the mozzarella. That is the way we like saying it. Instead of mozzarella, we say mozzarella. And we're going to do the ricotta, not the ricotta. This looks like this is going to be our final layer here, our top layer. I'm just pushing it down. You can see the ricotta is moving. Mm -hmm. If you got holes or anything like that, don't worry about it. We can always cover it up at the end. This one right there. 
And then we'll do one across on the bottom there to finish this off. Now let's, I could break this with my hand. I don't need the scissors. I'll just go like this. Tuck the rogota in there a little bit. I'm gonna press that all down. Okay, and now we're gonna do a little sauce on the top. After we put a little sauce on top here, we are going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese and a little bit more of the, um, a little bit more of the, uh, duh, 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 the mozzarella. <laughs> Couldn't spit it out there. Okay, so we got a little Parmesan. Parmesan, you can use whatever, you know, I know some people like Romano, some people like the Pecorino, Pecorino uh, Romano, uh, Romano, Parmesan Romano, whatever mixes you want, you can use. That's the great thing about lasagna, lasagna can be used, uh, made, you know, many different ways. So, this is going to be it right here. And it's going to be ready to go into the baking pan. I have one more I got to make. And uh, we should be good to go. So there you go, guys. That is Pete's Green Machine Lasagna. And uh, please subscribe. Hit the like button. And I appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in and watching. And uh, hopefully we're going to have uh, a few more of the green machines, the X739 John Deere uh, videos coming up. See you soon. Bye.